Hey everyone, so as some of you may know, Indiana Jones is returning as a LEGO theme in April 2023. That's this year, that's just a few short months away. This is super exciting for a lot of people. This theme, from what I understand, used to be really popular. I wasn't really a collector back in the Indiana Jones days, but the fact that this theme is making a comeback is definitely really, really exciting. And not only did we find this advertisement in a catalog for the theme, sort of showing its return in April, but I even have some information on the sets that are coming and I think you guys are gonna be really, really happy with these choices. I'm actually really surprised with the way that they decided to kind of kick off the reboot for Indiana Jones and this is pretty cool, so let's jump into it. So first of all, and this might be a somewhat obvious point to make, but we are getting a new Indiana Jones minifigure, but the exciting thing is he is gonna be coming with a new dual molded head hairpiece. So like the hat and hair are gonna be one piece combined, so you're not gonna have to switch off between either the hat piece or the hair. And hopefully double-sided face printing as well. I have the feeling that this minifigure is gonna be very, very good looking, and I am super excited about that. But now moving on to our first set, we have set 77012, Fighter Plane Chase. It's an eight plus set. 387 pieces, it comes out April 1st, as all four of these sets do. And it's gonna retail for $29.99 US dollars. So this set is gonna be from The Last Crusade, and I don't think it has been made in the past. There was nothing that I could find at least, but similar sets with planes and cars have been made. As for minifigures in this set, you can expect Indiana Jones, his father, and a fighter plane pilot. And as for builds, they will of course be the car and the fighter plane. It's a pretty small set, small piece count. Next, we're gonna be having a re-release of an old set that I think was pretty popular in its day, set 7621. The new set number is gonna be set 77013, Escape from the Lost Tomb. It's an eight plus set, 600 pieces, 39.99, April 1st again. This one looks really, really exciting. I really like the look of it. It has a small piece count, but to me, in a way, it kind of looks like a display set, only it's not, it's a play set. It should come with Marion, Indiana Jones, and two other minifigures. But the Anubis statues in the back are what look really, really cool in this set. I kind of want it just for that reason. And what's also very cool is that it looks as though one of them has a feature, possibly both, where you can knock it into the back wall. What would be really amazing is if that somehow caused the wall behind it to collapse. That would be an amazing playset, a really cool idea. So we'll see kind of when we can finally look at more pictures what the sort of functionality of that is. Next is gonna be another recreation set, and this is one of the things that I think is really cool about the way that they're doing this first wave of reintroducing this theme. Recreating these old sets, like that's kind of a banger way to get like right back into it. I like it, because they're trying to make up for these past films, or like the gap, I guess, where we haven't gotten these sets and, and kind of get them in updated versions. So it's pretty neat. So this new set is gonna be set 77014, The Temple of Doom. It's a 10 plus set, 801 pieces. It's gonna cost about 80 US dollars and it's gonna release April 1st. This set looks very very interesting. It's probably gonna be one of the most popular even though it does have that kind of I would call it a medium price range but people tend to really like those sets because you get something a little bit more exciting that's not at a super skyrocketed price. Not to mention this scene is a very popular moment in the Indiana Jones franchise, and this Lego set was very popular as well. The only major difference between these two sets, because as far as I can tell, they even come with the exact same six minifigures. The little minecart above the lava is looks to be smaller, but once we can really see some images, then you know we can get a better idea if that's true or not. It does have a higher piece count again, but I think that's just because they're adding more detailing to like the back the actual build itself, but the minecarts, I think playability-wise, is a little bit diminished. Now, the most exciting recreation that we are getting is gonna be our final April 1st set for this year. Just our final April 1st set, if you caught that. Gonna be set 77015, Temple Escape. It is an 18 plus set, 1,545 pieces and 130 US dollars. Why is it an 18 plus set? because it is not a playset. It is literally like a proper display set. We're talking Lego Star Wars black base plate, little plaque on the front with an Indiana Jones quote, 
And it's from one of the coolest and most iconic scenes in all of Indiana Jones history. So this set is obviously also the biggest, which is a pretty big surprise considering it's a display piece. It has over 1,500 pieces. The level of detail in this set is absolutely stunning. I just, I can't share pictures with you guys yet. And you know, it's not a great picture anyway. But once I do, I will definitely be making a video and showing you guys them immediately. So the recreation of this set is stunning. The only major difference I would say, aside from the fact that it's getting a huge glow up, like you should have high expectations for this. The boulder is not gonna be a molded piece, instead it's gonna be brick built. Oddly enough, I kind of like the way that it looks. I don't think it looks bad. In fact, having a molded boulder to me looks a little bit out of place, like you took it out of a little, what are they called, kiddie pool, ball pool things and you put it on top of your play set. It's more of an authentic Lego vibe. The set will also be coming with four great minifigures, which is, I think, the most amount of minifigures we've ever gotten for any sort of display piece. By the looks of it, you could certainly play with this anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong. But as for minifigures, you do get Indiana Jones. I might butcher the pronunciation of these. Satipo, Balok, and a Hovita Warrior. My hope is that these minifigures are gonna be of really high quality as well. I think they're all gonna receive an update regardless, but you know, if you could have some good solid leg printing, arm printing thrown in there maybe, it would be really amazing. And as for the little quote plaque that can be attached to the front of the set, it does read, let us hurry, there is nothing to fear here. To which Indiana Jones responds, that's what scares me. Oh, it's such a good choice. I am so excited for this set. I literally just rewatched this film like two nights ago and I still wasn't sure about the name pronunciation, but regardless, I'm really excited because it's just such a cool scene. So this is just super exciting news, you guys. I mean, again, all of those sets will be coming out April 1st, but that is not all that you can expect for Indiana Jones this year. There are four more Lego sets coming out at some point before the end of 2023 that should accompany the fifth movie of Indiana Jones coming out this year as well. So that's really exciting because from the sound of it, they're gonna be themed, you know, according to that new film. Hopefully they will still return to some past sets. I'm sure there's lots of things from the movies that you guys would have loved to have been made way back when or just remade now. And I am actually really curious. So let me know down below if you're kind of feeling like you were missing out on a specific Indiana Jones set or if you hope that they kind of hop back and recreate one of your old favorite moments from the films. And that's the whole update that I have for you guys. This is really, really cool news. I'm really excited to see how these sets come out in the end. Again, so far, I'm not disappointed, so I really hope you guys will be into them as well. I know this is a really big deal for some people. And it's certainly really exciting seeing how many LEGO themes are just kind of coming back in one way or another. It's just so much fun. Comment down below what your thoughts are on this news, especially what you think about these new sets or I suppose for the most part, new remade sets. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already to get the latest Lego news updates and leaks and reviews on this channel. We do reviews and hit that like button while you're at it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.